Good morning, students. Today, in continuation with the same lesson, atmosphere, we are going to focus on the next topic, and that is structure of the atmosphere. Now, scientists did not know much about the atmosphere before the 1950s. Their knowledge on um, atmosphere progressed once they started to use radars and satellites for learning about the atmosphere. A study of the vertical column of the atmosphere explains that the density of the air is not the same everywhere. Temperature is also not the same. It keeps on varying from place to place. Heavier gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide are found in the lower layers, while lighter gases like hydrogen and nitrogen are found in the higher layers. The density of air rapidly decreases as one moves towards the upper part of the atmosphere. Now, on the basis of this change of temperature, increase in height and structure, the atmosphere has been divided into five concentric layers. They are the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere and the exosphere. So let us learn about the troposphere which is the lowest layer of the atmosphere. So here we can see the troposphere which is the lowest layer of the atmosphere closest to the surface of the earth. The term troposphere has been given or it has been derived from a Greek word which means mixing or turbulence that is tropo means mixing or turbulence. So all kinds of weather phenomena like lightning, rainfall, snowfall, etc., etc. are all occurring in this troposphere. This layer contains all the water vapor and most of the dust particles. Water vapor condenses into clouds and fog and <clears throat> the temperature over here drops as one goes high up. So we must remember that the troposphere is the densest layer. There is a lapse rate that is as one goes higher in the troposphere, there is a drop of 1 degree centigrade for every 165 meters of ascent. Another very important <coughs> feature of the troposphere is that 90% of the atmosphere's total mass is found in this layer. No wonder, it is the densest part of the atmosphere. So, the maximum turbulence takes place in the troposphere. It is the densest layer and it is here that the lapse rate occur. That is, there is a decrease in temperature as one goes high up. The tropopause is the limit of the troposphere. It is 
having a height of 18 kilometers at the equator while 8 kilometers at the poles. So the height of the troposphere also keeps on varying from place to place and season to season. The stratosphere starts where the troposphere ends, that is, the boundary is the tropopause. So, where the tropopause is found, the stratosphere starts from there. In the stratosphere, the temperature does not decrease with altitude as it is happening in the troposphere. Over here, there is no water vapor and dust particle. So generally, it is a very tranquil zone. Tranquil means it is a calm zone. And here, the temperature is relatively constant. Clouds do not form and large convectional currents are absent. So there are no winds, no currents of uh, the atmosphere. And this stratosphere is free from any kind of weather phenomena. So it provides an ideal flying conditions for jet aircrafts. At higher levels, the temperature increases with height due to the absorption of ultraviolet radiation of the sun by ozone present in the layer. The temperature now slowly begins to increase to 4 degree centigrade. At about 50 kilometers, the temperature again starts to fall and this marks the end of the stratosphere, which is known as the stratopause. You all must have seen a jet aircraft flying in the sky. Now, when the jet aircraft is flying, you must all have noticed a narrow, long smoke trail which remains in the sky for a very long time. It is mainly because lack of winds do not allow the smoke to get dissipated fast. Aeroplanes in the troposphere also release the same kind of smoke, but we normally do not see it. It is mainly because of the turbulence which is found in the troposphere and hence we do not see the trail of smoke left behind by aeroplanes in the troposphere but we do see the trail of smoke left behind by the jets high up in the stratosphere. Next we come to the mesosphere. Now this layer is just above the stratopause and it extends to a height of about 80 kilometers. Here the temperature is as low as minus 90 degrees centigrade and in the upper limit of the temperature can drop to minus 100 degrees centigrade. It is in this layer that all meteors get destroyed. The thermosphere lies about 80 kilometers above the Earth's surface and extends for about 480 kilometers. Here, temperature increases with height and temperature can increase to nearly 1480 degrees centigrade. Here, the gas molecules break up into positive and negative 
electrically charged particles known as ions which help in reflecting the radio waves auroras can be seen in this layer which are formed due to the charged particles from the sun are captured by the earth's magnetic field meteors and other obsolete satellites get destroyed over here the exosphere is the outermost layer of the atmosphere of the earth it gradually merges into outer space temperature is very high and ranges between 300 to 1600 degree centigrade the density of the air is very low and so the gas molecules escape into space so in this module we learn about the structure of the atmosphere and the characteristics of each of the layers of the atmosphere that is what we have enough time for today thank you